Hello and welcome to Old Ways Gardening and Prepping. My name is Teresa. I'd like to welcome you into the kitchen with me where I have been blessed with a whole lot of bananas. Now, they are very ripe and I'm going to show you how to save them for future banana bread and some of them might be fine to dehydrate as well. So, let's move the camera around and let's watch. Okay, I have one bowl here to put the uh, ripe bananas in. I have one bowl with water and lemon juice for those that I get to slice to dehydrate. And I have my big pan to save all these banana peels to make fertilizer well. Look at those bananas. Yeah, I know some people, you, well, you just ain't been taught right. When bananas start turning brown, it means they're getting ripe and sweet. So, yeah. I looked up and got these for 49 cents a bunch, y'all. So. You better believe I snagged them. Oh, they smell so good. I'm going to get all the peels off. A little end piece. This part, I'm going to cut up. And you better believe I'm going to dehydrate. That part goes into the bowl. I'm going to keep working and I'll bring y'all right back. Okay, I have done five bunches so far. I have four more to go. A pretty good little bowl of bananas. They don't look the greatest, but they're not bruised or anything to go to the dehydrator. Bananas that I'm going to show you how to store here in a bit. Uh oh, I missed one. I thought I went to five. I was mistaken. You want to make sure that you get this little end piece off because that's hard. Make sure there's no peels. And just break it up. And I'll show you in a, another video how to use the banana. How I use banana peels to make fertilizer for my plants. Now, if you're, if you're not a gardener. And you, you're not going to be making the big batch of uh, fertilizer tea I'm going to make. You can lay your banana peels down around your roses. They will love you for that. Alright. I have a big whisk here. And you just want to want to keep. Mashing them. Actually, these are a little underripe. I'm used to using even darker ones. Because the darker the banana peel, the sweeter the banana is inside.
Now you can also use a potato masher as well. I didn't realize the camera was shaking. Sorry, y'all. You can use a potato masher as well, which works really good. Um, you want to go to the trouble, you could use a, like a potato ricer, but this is just as easy. I'm going to keep on mashing, and I'll bring y'all right back. Okay, I like to leave mine a little chunky. Now, if you want your smoother, you can use a handheld um, blender or a mixer. You can put them in a blender, puree them more. I like them to be a little more chunky. And then that way, when I make the banana bread, you actually get chunks of banana. Now, to keep it from going really ugly in the freezer I'm going to add about three capfuls go on that three capfuls of lemon juice Well, what it is about this year I mean we were cold during the winter I don't know how these gnats and bugs are doing so well they should have froze to death okay now I usually always have to do any double recipe when I make banana bread or banana pancakes, banana muffins, anything that you would use banana for. You can use this recipe, this way to do it. I know my banana bread, each, each loaf calls for one cup of banana puree or mass bananas. So, and like I say, I have to do a double batch. And if you do single batches, by all means, put a single batch worth per baggie. You want to make sure you get all the air. Here. Let me move so y'all can actually see. You want to make sure you get all the air out. And there's enough room for it to expand when it freezes so it won't bust the bag. I'm not going to label it because it's going to be the only fruit that's in the freezer that I have at the moment. But there is one baggie ready to make banana bread, banana pancakes, banana muffins. And all you do is when you get ready to use it, take it out of your freezer and let it thaw out in your fridge. And I always turn the tops of my baggies under that way they stay clean make one cup and there's two cups That's why anytime you can find what they call overripe, but they're not really overripe, they're just getting ripe. But that way, you got frozen bananas in your freezer ready to go for whatever recipe you want to make.
open my bags up and see what I do. Just flip it over and that way it keeps the seal clean. Oh, let me tell you, it smells like banana topia in here. Now, double check your recipes and see how much your recipe calls for for uh, mashed or pureed banana. And if you want to, before you bag them up, you can write the contents on the baggie and uh, how much is in there. And like I said, you can do single batches, freeze them up as well. I, I'm going to get back to do a finish bagging and these up, get these cut up. But see, you're looking for brown. I like mine more brown because they're going to be even sweeter. But there's nothing wrong whatsoever with these bananas. They're just right, people. There's a... Now I will cut this part off, but... Look at that. Beautiful. 49 cents. If I had more money, I would have got all the bananas. I got nine bunches, and there was still half a grocery basket left of them. Because that's a blessing. Because there's going to be some happy people around here. For pancakes, banana bread, banana muffins. You could freeze it up like this to add the smoothies. So much you can do with it. Alright, I will bring you back as soon as I get done with these other four bunches. And show you how much I've going to have to put back. See you here in a bit. Alright, I am finally done. That took a while. But for less than $5, I have enough mashed banana. Now I have two cups in the fridge already. But I have enough mashed banana to make 19 loaves a banana bread or some of this can be go can go for pancakes or muffins but 19 loaves of banana bread and a big bowl of bananas and I'm fixing to get sliced bananas that I'm fixing to head to the shed to start dehydrating them simple easy anybody can do this and oh also, let us not forget the big, whoops, man, man, this tripod, I swear. The beginning of two to three batches of fertilizer when I go home. And yes, I'll do a video on the fertilizer making. Now. These bags are going into the deep freeze. I have two cups reserved because I'm going to bring you back tomorrow morning and we're going to make some amazing banana bread. I absolutely love banana bread. Come on, tripod. There we go. Too late at night to be struggling with this thing. Absolutely love to make chocolate bana chocolate chip banana bread. And I've got the wonderful walnuts to go in it. Now that's optional. Chocolate chips are optional. But the best thing about this banana bread is it incorporates yogurt into it as well, which it will make a very moist banana bread. But that's a different video for tomorrow. I just wanted to show you how 
to please don't overlook the poor old lonely clearance bananas. They are just as good as those unripened green bananas. Like I said, you just want to let them get dark and are darker. Now, you could also take these and put them in the uh, freezer. Um, let them freeze in the pills. Now, the pills will get really black then and make chocolate dipped bananas. Which are really good too. But simple, easy. Put back whatever you can, y'all. When you can. I couldn't pass up bananas 49 cents a bunch. When was the last time they sold bananas by bunches? It's always by pounds, y'all. So 49 cents a bunch? You better believe I jumped on it. I just wish I could have got more. But oh well. Now, I'm going to put these into uh, freezer gallon Ziploc bags. So, in case they decide to expand past the seal, the mess and the bananas are trapped in the bigger bag. So, there's no waste. Simple, easy. Anybody can do this. All you need are... Or lonely clearance bananas and lemon juice. I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Stock your pantry with food that will sustain you and keep you alive. Stock your medicine cabinets. Stock your protection. Also stock um, your bare essentials. I look forward to seeing you in my next video and may you each be blessed. Y'all take care. Hoot hoot.